Welcome to Mount Cranbourne Apiculture. We're back at um, our bucket site, going through these brood boxes relentlessly, trying to um, minimise swarming and um, yeah, just doing our routine spring management. So I've been asked, how do I choose frames to pull up out of the brood box up above the the, the honey, up, up above the plenish glutter into the honey super? So what? What priorities do I give in, in terms of doing that? Um, I guess this time of year, um, the first thing you don't want in there is frames full of honey because you could have a frame of brood in there. So the first frame I'll pull up, and that's sort of all been done, um, you know, mid-July, but the first frame of honey I would pull up is a, is a frame full of honey, okay? So that definitely needs to come out of the brood box up into the honey super and a fresh frame put down there. Um, takes them a long time to move honey out of those frames and they'll they'll tend to swarm before the bees will move honey out of there and up into the into the honey super. Um, next type of frame I'd bring up is if there was more than one frame of uh, pollen in there so you'll often get a frame of pollen on the wall so there'd be one here or one here so one's all they need that that's a surplus and um, that's all they really need in there. So if there's another one here, I'll be pulling that one up as well. So pull it up above the queen excluder, sit it above the brood nest, right above, and they'll still go up and use that pollen. Worst case scenario is they'll cap it with honey. If you go through the extractor, you can put it back down in the brood box in the spring. So I guess the next type of frame I'd pull up, if, if I'm looking at congestion, is a, a frame of fully sealed brood. So, um, if they are congested, there's no point that that fully sealed stuff being down there because the queen can't do anything with it. All it's doing is taking up space. They're not feeding it. They're not feeding those larvae because the cells are capped. So if you need to make room, pull them up above the queen excluder as well. So if you've got no other choice but to pull up those, then that's what I'd do. Um, I guess the next the next type of frame I'd pull up not necessarily in that order, I'd, I'd put it higher up in that priority, probably first or second to be pulled up. So, is frames that are undesirable. So what I'm talking about are the older frames that tend to work their way to the edge. So, um, an old frame in a brood box is just like animals or people. The older they get, the more prone to disease they get. So, it's not the age of the bees, it's actually the age of the, the, the brood frames that, that causes issues with disease. So. Anything that's old it tends to find its way to the outside because you're putting, you're putting fresh frames of foundation, particularly this side at the time of the year, into the centre, which naturally pushes those old frames out to the edge. So it just, just the way the frames move, you'll tend to get older frames working their way toward to the edges. Okay, so how do I tell an old frame? Um, it's it's colour will give a few clues. So um, the older they get, the darker they get and it's just travel stain and muck that the bees bring in and what tends to happen too is that every time a larvae develops in a cell they spin a cocoon and those cells gradually over time get smaller and smaller and I'll do a close-up of this frame and a few others as well just to show you what they look like so um, bees in a natural state in a tree or a rock if those once those frames got that old, the bees would stop using them. Um, you'd get a rat or, or some sort of a critter will come in and chew it out. Uh, maybe a bit of wax moth will come in and clean it up. And the bees will come back and rebuild there. But um, because people are managing these hives, you, you don't, don't so much get the rat or the, or the critter come in. Um, it's up to beekeepers to remove those frames and replace them with fresh frames. So these old frames can just go straight up into the honey super. Um, They'll backfill them with honey, you can uncap them, and they'll they'll draw them again nicely, and there's nothing wrong with using those as honey frames. So I'll give you a show you a closer up one of that shortly. So we'll just go through here and see if I've got two fresh frames of foundation to put in. So we'll definitely pull that frame out that's there. And I'm just looking for something that's either old or undesirable. So some of my frames that I've been putting in years ago, a few years ago. I just put them in without foundation, so some of them have a bit of uh, drone brood in them. So certainly be looking to pull up anything with drone brood because being a honey producer, I'm looking to maximise the amount of worker bees in the, in the hives. So they look really good. So far, I've worked pretty hard 
to get these brood boxes back to a good state. So I'm gradually getting rid of any rubbish that was in there. It's a nice frame. They look good. There's the queen there. I'll just grab her to get her out of the way. I'm sure I've said it before. This is a little hair clip queen catches are great gadgets. Of all the rubbish you can buy, that's one thing I would recommend that you get. So there's a there's a possibility there. I'll just mark that one. It's got a little bit of drone brood in it, and it's not almost fully sealed, so I'll just mark it as a possible. That's a really big, heavy frame of seal brood. So if you were looking for, had no, no other um, possibilities, that's the sort of stuff I would pull out. It's got a little bit of drone brood in it as well, and a few cells of chalk brood. So uh, we might mark that as a possible. Starting to get a bit old, a few filled in cells there. Queen cell. Let's see what this one of the wall looks like. See, so once again, you can see those cells wearing out on the bottom, almost not used. And um, that's got a bit of pollen in it, so we'll leave it there. So we'll take out this wall frame from the other side and we'll take out this big thick, big fat frame of seal brood that had a bit of chalk in it, so that can go. It's quite a dark colour as well and this can go as well. I'll take some close-ups of them in a, in a moment. Put our fresh frame of foundation in. Let's push them over. fresh one there so you can see as you add new frames in the middle the older ones naturally work their way to the edge so that's where you're picking picking your frames to be replaced from general clean out there she goes so we'll put this high back together and I'll just take some close-ups of those old frames that I've pulled out So there's um, that frame of seal brew that I pulled up. You can see how old, how old those cells are getting down the bottom. They're getting really dark and um, need to come up. You can see, um, see the drone brew there as well. So it's time is nearly up. See those sticking cells? Let's put that back in. See those? worn out cells just along here it's time for that frame to come out let's turn him over and once again see all those worn out cells there thickened up bees are no longer using them and using it for a bit of pollen even then they they're not that keen on using them so yeah time for that frame to come out 
So that's a sort of undesirable frame that I'm pulling out of these hives all the time. So we've been talking about uh, what frames to pull up out of brood boxes. Here's an example of a, a frame that's um, past its use by date. So um, over time, the cell walls thicken up. You can just see in that bottom right hand corner, just around in here, um, you can see that the cell walls have thickened up. The combs turn really black and that's just due to age. So every time a larvae spins a cocoon in those cells, it um, cell gets a little bit smaller. Just gets to the point where the bees don't um, want to use it anymore. So there's a good example of a comb that's um, yeah, well and truly past its use by date. And that's being pulled out of the brood box now and back up into the honey super. So I've just been through another big triple here. I'll just show you what the, the two frames I've chosen to take out and why. Um, so these are both wall frames. So you can see how those older frames um, gradually just make their way to the outside of the box in the brood box. So a bit of drone brood on there. Um, you can see these cells here. See these cells here thickening up, just getting old, the colour of the frames changing from light to dark. You can see it the same on that side as well. So a bit of brood, a bit of drone brood, and those cells are thickening up around through there. So that's the first one I've got. Um, this fella here is a classic example. They've just given up on these cells. Um, they, they're past their use by date, and they just chew the walls out and cut them down eventually chew that out actually and replace it so um, as beekeepers it's our job to get these old frames out of the brood box and get some fresh young stuff in there to um, minimise disease and um, just maximise production. So there's two that I've chosen and they'll just go up into the honey super. The bees will backfill them with honey. I'll come along and uncap them and um, they just continue on that, that circuit of being a honey frame. So there's the two I took out and the reason why. So a couple more examples of frames that I've pulled up that are undesirable. Um, first one, this one here. So you can see quite a bit of drone brood there and those cells are really starting to show signs of thickening up down the bottom there. Um, quite dark, some really old cells here. So um, a few little cells of, a few cells of chalk in it as well. So once again, drone brood. It's cells thickening up nice and dark. So that was the first to come out. Um, this doesn't look too bad on the face of it. Um, nice frame of plastic, but when you look on the other side, you can see they've been really reluctant to draw it. So I'll just put that up in the honey super and um, it'll just get drawn out with honey. Either it'll be still imperfect, but I'll fix it up with the uh, uncapper and um, it'll go back, back in probably. Just keep telling them to send it back to get a better job done. So there's a couple more that have been taken out of the brood box, replaced the foundation and the justification for why. So another frame I've just pulled out of the brood box, which will be coming up above the queen excluder. It's a classic example of an old worn out frame. So you can see um, very old cells there. The frame is black, so it's really dark, which indicates age. It's found its way to the wall, which means as newer frames have been put in the centre and it's eventually been pushed out. And you can also see this really old black worn out cells that they're not even using anymore. So um, at, at the very best, they'd throw a bit of pollen in them and um, after a while they just stop using them altogether. So you don't want this in your brood box. It's just non-productive. Um, so it'll go up in the honey super and it'll be back filled with honey and uncapped. And it'll just live its life as a honey frame.